Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com here with a quick video about uh, can you take ibuprofen with Sudafed? There is no interaction with uh, ibuprofen and Sudafed. So as long as you can safely use each ingredient on its own, there should be no issue taking the two together. The active ingredient of Sudafed is pseudoephedrine. Ibuprofen is available under a couple different brand names in the US, Advil and Motrin. They are actually available in a combination product. Advil Cold and Sinus has both ibuprofen and pseudoephedrine. So it is safe to use those together, again, as long as they're medicines that you can use on their own. The pseudoephedrine 30 milligrams, ibuprofen 200. If you have the extended release pseudoephedrine or pseudoephed 12 hour, that's all right to use with ibuprofen as well. Uh, you should exercise caution or talk to the doctor if you have certain health conditions. Of course, you don't want to use NSAIDs like ibuprofen during pregnancy, so that would be a no-no. Uh, oftentimes, the plain ingredient pseudoephedrine can be used, but you have to be careful there as it can affect blood pressure, and that is sometimes an issue during pregnancy, so you may want to run that by your doctor first. Heart problems pseudoephedrine or pseudofed and ibuprofen can both uh, have an effect on the heart. The pseudofed can increase heart rate. The ibuprofen can sometimes uh, increase blood pressure and cause some issues with the heart. So be careful there. Uh, we touched on the high blood pressure. Blood thinners. Um, ibuprofen has been, at, ibuprofen and other NSAIDs have been associated with uh, bleeding stomach ulcers and bleeds in the intestines. If you're on a blood thinner, probably best to avoid it or talk to your doctor first before you use the combination. Best to avoid alcohol. Alcohol can increase that risk of stomach bleeding with NSAIDs like ibuprofen. Again, avoid with other NSAIDs like meloxicam, naproxen, any other of those anti-inflammatories you don't want to double up. Simply going to increase your risk of side effects again. And lastly, we'll reiterate that NSAID risk, uh, stomach bleeding, heart attack, stroke, things like that. Short-term use, you know, you're taking it for a sinus condition for a few days, usually not going to be an issue. These things happen uh, more when you're taking it for long-term or if you already have an existing condition. So if you're uncertain, you know, just run it by your doctor, pop by the pharmacy counter, tell them what meds you're taking, uh, make sure that these two meds are going to work together for you. But like I said, by themselves, they do not interact with each other. I appreciate you watching this video. And if you appreciate the information, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks.